Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial, but I'm going to basically be showing you how to create a wing logo in Corel Draw. We're going to export that out as an SVG, as a scalable vector graphic. Then we're going to be exporting that out from uh, FreeCAD uh, as a step file, and then we're going to bring it into Corel Draw, and I'm going to show you how to use the project feature to project this onto a cylinder. <clears throat> okay, so first of all, we're going to go ahead and open up Corel Draw. We need to trace the logo. All right, with uh, Corel Draw open, you're going to go File New, and you're going to create a new. Um, you can just make this uh, instead of custom, just do a letter letter size eight and a half by eleven. Click OK. <clears throat> now we're going to go ahead and import. You're going to import the uh, the wings. And what we're going to do here is like this is going to be if you were creating a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, if you were creating a, um, a head tube for a mountain bike and you wanted this logo on the front of your head tube, you'd be able to project it onto there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, scale this down. So hold down the shift key, and make this a little smaller. Okay, now we're going to right mouse click with it selected, outline trace, and select detail logo. Okay, now we're going to click OK and we're going to drag our uh, trace image over to the right. We're going to get rid of the, that image. We're going to blow this up. Let's go ahead and move this down here. Now we're going to ungroup, which is Control U. And we're going to get rid of that little dot in the center there. And now we're going to select everything. Control G is going to group it. I'm going to Select black here to change the color to black. And now we're going to go ahead with it selected. We're going to go to File. We're going to go Export. Export to the desktop as an SVG, as a scalable vector graphic, untitled 1. And uh, we're going to go ahead and export. Go ahead and just click OK to that default. And we're going to minimize. Now we're going to open up FreeCAD. And if you don't have FreeCAD, you could uh, Google search FreeCAD. It's a free program, and it's actually a pretty powerful drafting tool. It's a modeler. does basically everything. So we'll go ahead and create new. Now we're going to drag our Untitled 1 into the page here. And we're going to make sure to click SVG as Geometry, and then we're going to select. Okay, now we're going to do Control-A to get the wings, select the wings. We can come up to File. We're going to say Export. Export as an STP if it's not already on there. We'll just call this test test one desktop and hit save. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and uh, close this. Uh, discard changes. Now we're going to open up uh, Design Spark Mechanical. Okay, now you're going to go to File, go to New, New Design. Now we're going to come up back up to File, <clears throat> go down to Design Spark Options, excuse me. And we're going to go to Units, and we're going to change from Metric to Imperial to Inches, and we're going to click OK. Now, sometimes it takes a couple of tries. You have to do it twice sometimes with Design Spark. It's kind of a quirk, but See, it's still in millimeters, so we'll go to metric, imperial, and you'll know that you changed it when the squares get bigger. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and click here to the plan view. Now we're going to draw a, a bike head tube. That's the tube that your forks go into on the bottom and the handlebars go into on the top. And um, I, so uh, the hope of this lesson is that you're going to learn how to actually project the logo onto that head tube. Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and create, <clears throat> we'll create the head tube. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this. It's not going to be any particular size. Uh, it's just going to be, this is one of those head tubes that tapers. It's going to be like a one and a, one and one eighth at the bottom and one and a half at the bottom. So it'll be something like this. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put it, get a fillet here, create rounded corners. We're going to create it around here, and we're going to click, click on the second one and create around there. So this is going to be our, um, our image here, 
Yeah, I guess we could make it hollow. Um, so to do that, we're going to come over here to offset. And then we're going to select, hold down the control key, select everything we want to offset. And then we're going to, let's undo that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one. We don't need it. So we're going to come over here and hit delete. And then we're going to delete this one. You don't need this one either. So um, with the select tool highlighted or on it, clicked on, we're going to select that. We're going to come up here to offset. And then you're going to offset this stuff over. Let's turn off the snap this right here. Let's go ahead and click that. And we're going to make it like 0 0.07 inches. Okay. So that's going to be. This is going to be our uh, our tube. And now we need to control plus, and then we're going to grab the line tool. Let's go ahead and pan down first, and then go ahead and get your line tool. We're going to go from endpoint to endpoint. Then we're going to uh, pan up, and then we're going to get the line tool again. We're going to go from the endpoint there to endpoint there. All right. Now you're going to control minus. Now we're going to go uh, get the select tool. We're going to Come up here to pull. We're going to go ahead and select this. We're going to go select the revolve. We're going to click that little circle there. And then we're going to go full pull. Fail to revolve that. Okay, so let's do this. Let's put a line out here. It needs a place to uh, to be able to revolve from. Let's turn the snap on. And let's just go from here, straight down. Go ahead and select the click off the line. Now we're going to go back to pull, select pull. Select the inside of this shape. Select revolve. Select this center part there, and then go ahead and do your pull pull. All right, now go ahead and um, let's go ahead and spin this. All right. Let's see if we can scale this up. No, we're going to undo that. Okay, so we're going to leave this. This is going to be our um, our head tube. So we're going to go ahead and go to views here and go up to the front. Oh, actually, this is going to be the top view, I believe. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and select this plane, and then we're going to come down here and select Select right here. Okay. Now go ahead and spin this. Make sure that this is straight. Yeah, it's fairly straight. Go ahead and go to uh, top view. Do control minus. Now go ahead and get your select tool. With this selected, the plane selected, we're going to come up here to file. And then you're going to go, you're going to change the file types here by clicking the drop down menu. You're going to go to step. Then you're going to scroll down. You're going to get this test one. You're going to say open. Then you're going to go ahead and go OK. Now you're going to drag this up and you're going to drag it over. Actually, undo that. Let's just drag it over to the left. OK, now you're going to deselect. You're going to drag a marquee around that. You can come up here to fill. Now we want to make it a little bit smaller. So go ahead. And Select both of these by holding down the control key. Go to pull and come up to this little uh, package with these arrows around it. This is scale body. And then you want to move around until you get a, a node. So you click. Click and when you see an arrow, you want to click and drag. So, but we didn't do that right. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, to delete that plane, you don't need it anymore. So go ahead and drag a marquee around that. Go to your scale. And then you want to move it around until you... Okay, now you got the arrow. So with the arrow on the right and everything selected, you're going to click and drag. And you're going to make this smaller. So we're going to make it about... We're going to make it about that big because I want it to wrap. So then you're going to go to move. You're going to move this over, and then you're going to move it up. 
and we want it to we want it to be pretty much in the center of this so it will wrap and now we're going to do rotate it a little bit from right to there okay now you're going to go ahead and spin this make sure that this is where you want it to be and it is so we're going to go ahead and move we're going to click the blue and just kind of drag it out here and now you're going to um, select now you're going to um, go ahead and go to project uh, it didn't look like I did it right. Let's spin this. Okay, let's undo that. A couple of undos. Uh, sometimes it's hit or miss with uh, project. Let's go ahead and hold Control key down and get both of these. Go to move. Let's move it down to a thicker part of the uh, the bike and see if it will it will do it on there. All right, let's go ahead and go get the move. Let's grab that blue. Let's move it out to there and then go project. Okay, it still looks like it's kind of not wanting to uh, project it. It might be a little too little too extreme of a wrap. So if that's the, ever the case, just go ahead and do a couple undos to get to here. Go to your view, go to top view. Go to move. Let's drag this uh, set of wings off and then go back up to pull and do your scale. Select and go ahead and make this smaller. Okay, and then go ahead and go to move and then just drag it over. And then we'll put it up here. Okay, I'll go ahead and go to spin. Let's spin that. It's at a good spot, so we're going to go ahead and uh, project. Let's spin this. It looks like it's okay. It looks like it just added a couple of extra lines there. You might be able to work with this. So let's go ahead and um, go to select, and let's get rid of um, these original wings. All right, let's zoom in, control plus, let's pan over. Okay, looks like it's okay. And then now we can go ahead and use this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select, hold down the control key. Let's see if we can scale it. Uh, we can scale it up. Uh, it looks like we can't, so. Okay, so once it's uh, once you use project, it's on there. So, all right, so let's do what we intended to do with this in the first place. Hold down your control. Now we're going to go to pull. We're going to pull this this wings out. Okay, so this is going to be your uh, your head tube logo your mountain bike <clears throat> uh, yeah it, it, it's um it's kind of hit or miss you have to experiment with uh, design spark mechanical um, normally if uh, something is wrapping too far around something you're going to get some funky lines but this is just enough wrap uh, this size right here is actually perfect so this would be your uh, you know if you had a mountain bike and you had a head tube and you wanted to uh, create a company logo for yourself and you wanted to put that on your bike and you were making a CAD file of it, this is this is how you would do it. So we got our little wings there. Let's go control minus. Let's go to your uh, top view. And now you can get rid of this original file here. So we'll go ahead and go to delete. Hold control plus and then we'll just kind of pan this into view so you can take a look at it. Control minus. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial, a uh, lesson on how to actually create uh, a wing logo in CorelDRAW, how to um, save that out as an SVG file, and then how to bring that into FreeCAD, and then export that out as a uh, step file, and then how to bring that step file into DesignSpark Mechanical, and then how to use the project tool to project your wing logo onto a curved surface. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got something useful out of the video.
Thanks again for watching.